people, how are you feeling today? On that scale from one to 100. How are you on that scale? Are you chilling in the 80s and the 90s? Maybe the 70s and the 60s? Maybe you're having a 20 day today or a 30 day today. It's perfectly okay to have a 30 day from time to time. 30 days happen from time to time. Sometimes three 30 days come in a row. <laughs> They're tough ones. They're tough ones. But it's perfectly okay to have days on that end of the scale. It's perfectly okay to have days like that. What I like to do when I have a couple of those days in a row, or even if I have one of those days, is stop, reflect, breathe, chill with myself, and do a brain dump. Your brain dump is your best friend. I kid you not. If you don't know what a brain dump is, there's a whole video about it. Please do check it out. My name is Zohab Z Khan. Welcome back to the people who have seen my last few videos. If this is your first video that you're clicking on with this face, I am a poet, hip hop artist, motivational speaker, and dude, that's on your screen right now. If you do know who I am and have seen my last few videos, you may notice I've got a new background. And the reason I've got a new background is because London is on lockdown. The lockdown has gone to the next level and that means I had to leave my old studio behind, but don't worry, I'll be back there soon enough. But that's why I haven't that's why I haven't released a video in the last couple of days. Life has been a little bit cray cray. Today's video is a short, sharp, quick video, and it's a video just to update you on what's going on. Why have you haven't seen a video from me for the last uh, couple of days? But also to request something from you. That's right. I would like something from you if that's perfectly okay. One of my favorite things about doing school performances um, all around the world is I always left the last five, maybe 10 minutes for questions. And in those five, 10 minutes, people, you know, school kids would put their hand up and ask me questions. Sometimes they would be like, what's your favorite color? And sometimes they were like, do you play Xbox or PlayStation? <laughs> or, Excuse me, how old are you? If you have those questions, go for it. If you want to know if I play Fortnite, I'll tell you now, I don't play Fortnite. Can floss though. So, if you happen to have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. I will address them in the next video or better yet, down there is my email address. Send me a video of you asking a question. I would love to see that. Um, yeah, I'd love to see a question from you. So any questions that you may have, whether you are a school kid at home from school or an adult chilling, a grown human being who is at home working from home, needs a little bit of a break. Ask me a question. What would you like to know about the hip hop world, the poetry world, the motivational speaking world, the going around the world world or whatever the world of the world world, right? Whatever you want to know, ask me a question. I'll do my best to answer it. Writing challenge. Oh yes, yes, yes. You're not leaving this video without a writing challenge. So today's writing challenge is, I assume most of you at home because of the lockdown, because of coronavirus. So what I would like you to do is have a look around your house. Pick three things in that house three inanimate objects and we're going to personify them. Personification, if you don't remember what personification is or if you don't know what personification is, personification is about giving human characteristics to inanimate objects or giving human attributes to inanimate objects, to stuff that isn't alive. Or the way I like to say it, it's about giving person stuff to non-person stuff. Making stuff that isn't persons -es do stuff that persons -es does. -es -es -es. If you've ever watched Beauty and the Beast, there's so much personification in that. There's like wardrobes talking to each other and like teapots and teacups and candlesticks. They all get personalities and they come alive. So what I want you to do is look around your house, pick three things that you can make come alive and make them hang out with each other. Give them personalities. How do they talk? How do they interact with one another? Is one happy? Is one sad? Is one super hyperactive and talks to the camera really, really fast? I don't know. You tell me when you've thought about that and like had a nice little brainstorm about it. What I want you to do is write a 12 line poem. 
12 line poem about how these inanimate objects interact with one another. That's a quick writing task for you today. I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Today was a quick, short, sharp video, but more longer poetry videos and workshop videos are coming your way very, very soon. Stay tuned. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. Looking forward to your questions. Before we get our dance on, I just want to take this opportunity to quickly say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my Patreons. My new Patreons over at Patreon, uh, you have like warmed my heart. I didn't expect so many of you to come out and support me um, and you know, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. It's warmed my heart. It's motivated me to work harder and harder and harder in this time where all of my gigs have been cancelled for 2020 for you to come out and support and believe in what I'm doing with this video format um, means the absolute world to me. So thank you for helping me spread poetry into this world and helping me make it, helping me to make this world a little bit more poetic for all those incredible human beings that are at home right now. So thank you so much to Aaron, to Jamal, to Kerry, to Coulter, to Shelley, to Stina, to V, to Zushan. You guys are absolute VIP, MVP, absolute legend human beings. Brush your shoulders off. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you are incredible. Okay, time to get our dance on. Yeah.